Factor Behind the Closed Door. I'm Pat Whitemuffin, and tonight, chairs. We use them every day, at home, at work, on holiday. We go out shopping for them, and some of us spend hundreds of pounds getting them reupholstered. But have you ever wanted to be a chair? Meet Ted, a 28 used car salesman. By day he goes about his business, but behind the closed door of his little flat, Ted has a secret. I don't know what got me started. Uh, some say it's because my wife left me. Others said it's a grieving process because uh, my son died. I just don't know. To me, it just feels like the real me has finally woken up. I've been a uh, high back dining room chair now for about 18 months. Before that, I was a leather bound writing chair, but I had to give it up because the rivets were playing havoc with my knees. How has your life changed since you became a chair? Oh, it's, it's much better now. I feel alive. I feel more alive than I've ever felt. I mean, I very much feel that I'm a chair trapped inside a man's body. Ted has only been a chair since 2014, but the need to be in touch with your chair side, or chalf, as it's called in human chair circles, has been around for years. Meet Harry. He's been in touch with his chalf for more than 40 years now. Whilst he seems happy enough, his road to chair nirvana hasn't been an easy one. Kicked out of the military for his lifestyle choices and disowned by his parents, Harry moved from the USA to England to be with his partner who he met on the internet, a sofa from Sidcup. I don't feel the need to be a chair 100% of the time, but I do feel the need to be a chair. My woman here, Cassandra, has been a sofa all her life, and that's why I love her. If people can be more accepting of the way others want to live their lives, well, they can all just go and take a jump in a wood chipper. Whilst Harry has strong feelings about his life as a chair, and is undoubtedly very comfortable with his life decisions, not all people who are in touch with their shelf are quite as comfortable. Meet Helen. She's been a chair now for 20 years, but still keeps it very much a secret. I've tried doctors. I've tried psychiatrists. I've even tried hypnosis and dabbled with homeopathy. I went to see a witch doctor and tried voodoo. I accidentally went to see a dentist about it and all that ended up happening was I ended up being his chair for a few patients. Why do you have such problems with being a chair? It's splitting me and my husband apart. I don't want to feel like Helen the soft top chair anymore. I want to go back to being Helen the woman. Helen is one of the hardest cases of human chair syndrome I've ever come across. I've worked tirelessly with her to try and help her understand her condition. Most recently, I sent her to Scandinavia to meet with the people behind IKEA in the hopes that it might make her come to peace with the chair inside. When she gets back, I plan on running a few more tests. If that doesn't work, well, I'm just going to have to have her committed. I got one thing to say to this he -lan. You ain't no chair. You're a goddamn stool. Embrace the stool inside and love the stool that you are. Human chair syndrome. Unknown by many, but very real to some. Whether you embrace it, like Harry, haven't quite come to terms with it, like Helen, or are just new to it, like Ted. One thing's for sure. If you met Ted, Harry or Helen in the pub, you wouldn't know what goes on behind their closed door. Good night. Well, ladies and jelly spoons, I hope you enjoyed my first video of 2019. If you did, please be sure to let me know by hitting your like button or leaving me a comment down below. If you want to see some of the videos that I made in 2018, one is being suggested for you right over there. Please go and check it out. And if you want to see more of this mush, please be sure to hit the old subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified every Wednesday at 6pm British Standard Time when I upload a new video. And as always, ladies and jelly spoons, if you are seeing this, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. It really means a great deal to me.